If you're just joining us, it's been a pitching clinic so far. And in fact, we're still looking at a possible shutout in the making. Heidi, what kind of impact does a stellar outing like this have on a club? Matt, a dominating performance by a starting pitcher can not only take the pressure off the hitters, it also gives some needed rest to the arms in the bullpen. And it's just generally great for team morale. It'd be a real boost for this pitcher's team and his ERA if he can continue blanking the opponent the rest of the way. Well done, Heidi. I'd say you got the job done there. Stepping in, Brian Anderson. And Dan, what's gone wrong for this lineup today? They're only three outs away from being shut out. Boy, you know, I just haven't seen a lot of fight in these at-bats. Now, of course, plenty of credit goes to that pitching, but the effort on the offensive side has been pretty lethargic watching from up here in the booth, Matt. Yeah, I would imagine it feels the same from watching in the stands in this one. Unable to find the zone with the slider. Fouled away. And that misses two and two. Hit down the line at first. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. And a full count as that misses. It's three and two now. If you're ever going to see a position player go to the mound, it's going to be in a situation like this. Get him to relax a little bit, focus on his mechanics, and get that fastball back in the zone. Can't allow this guy to lead off wall. And he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. When you're this deep into a start, it can be really exhausting and annoying when a hitter makes you work as hard as he did right there. He got the strikeout, that's great, but he's probably thinking, get that guy out of here. It is Curtis Granderson. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. He's two for three and looking for more here. The wind up and the 0 1. A swinging strike and now it's 0 and 2. Can't say he's tickling around the zone. Those last two pitches were pretty much grooved right down the middle, but it didn't bite him. Now a fastball here that'll wisely lay off and it's 1 and 2. I know you have to protect the strike zone when you get the count to two strikes, but on an 0-2 pitch that misses by that much, it's pretty easy for a hitter not to swing at that one. Croxton is there, and folks are starting to head for the exits now. Two gone here in the ninth. So striding forward now, Jorge Alfaro. He's their last shot here with two away in the ninth as they look to avoid the shutout. Yeah, Matt, they just haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one. In there, and it's 0-1. And they'll try and end it here with an even 100 pitches. Uh, what an unbelievable effort. He has had total command of all pitches, all quadrants. Dan, this has got to bring a smile to your face. It, it does, d -Roy. In the day and age where we don't see very many complete games or for that. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over.
the Mets are one of the hotter teams in the league right now and for more on that let's check in with Heidi Watney. Matt this team is rolling of late and they want to keep it that way. We've seen before how a hot club becomes increasingly dangerous as they continue to reel off wins. Let's see if this runaway train will pick up even more steam by coming out on top again in this one. All right Heidi thank you. At the plate A.J. Pollock been a strikeout victim twice in this one. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. Some action in the Dodger bullpen now as it appears they have both a lefty and a right hander up and throwing. Three runs already home here. Called strike on the outside part of the plate 0 and 2. Hey you find yourself down 0 2 you've got to grind a little bit right here. I don't understand the game plan. Let's see if we can get this one back to even count. The 0-2 once more. Oh, and ouch, that one drilled him. Safe after the recovery throw. Good effort, but now we have to wonder whether or not he's going to be okay. And time now to see quite where that got him. And it appeared from up here at least, and his actions on the field confirm it. It looked like it got him on his drive leg, which could be problematic, of course, for him. But from the way he's trying to walk it off, I think he's going to try to continue. At the plate, Kike Hernandez. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. First offering on its way. This is foul right side. Line toward the alley in left center. Lagares is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. So three runs on three hits, no errors, and a man left. Ninth inning coming up. Dodgers out in front, five to four. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Kenley Jansen comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Here's Juan Ligares looking to change his fortunes here. 0 for 4 with two strikeouts so far in the game. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Now the Dodgers get a right hander up and throwing in their bullpen. Down and away, ball one. In for a strike, and he jumps ahead one and two now. Wow, there's a pitch right there that this guy would like to have back. Very rarely do you see a pitcher of this quality throw one right down the middle, and boy, he took that one. He'd like to have that one back and be able to take a good hack at that pitch. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. And not the start they were hoping for as the leadoff man is kept off base to start the ninth. Here's the catcher, Wilson Ramos. He's doubled and singled in four at bats in this contest. First pitch on its way. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. To me, getting ahead 0 1, it's the most important pitch in the game, Maddie. I, it puts the hitter on the defensive. I can only think of myself being in the batter's box. When I'm sitting 1 0, I am all over the gas, or I am allowed the opportunity to sit on something without fearing going 1 1. When you're down 0 1, your head's on a swivel. Slap hard the opposite way. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. 
Well, you know what? Good hitters are good hitters for a reason, d -Row. And to be able to hang in there on an 0-2 pitch and still be able to get a base hit, this guy's about as good as it gets. Yeah, I'm blown away by this guy, Dan. You wouldn't know if you showed up. You wouldn't know if it's 2-0, 3-1, 0-2. Counts do not matter. This guy trusts in his craft. Time called here as with the potential tying run aboard, they'll make the move to get a little more speed out there. Quick check on that tying run at first, and he'll be back in standing up. Here's the left fielder, Ioannis Cespedes. And he takes a big swing at that one as this one's lifted high in the air and deep out to left field. And as Mets fans have heard before, that ball's out of here! It's a two-run shot to straightaway left as they've taken a one-run lead. I know he's a confident pitcher, but there's a difference between being confident and downright foolish. He just offered one of the most dangerous hitters in the lineup a straight heater, and it cost him big time. Rich Hill enters the game with one gun in the top of inning number nine. the second baseman Robinson Cano as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one and this misses the outside corner so it's knotted up at one and one still only one out in the inning here's a breaking ball but it doesn't quite find the strike zone those were two great executed pitches right there away from this batter. He can hurt you in a heartbeat. I don't think anything's going to leak out over the heart of the plate. And a slider's in for a strike. It's two and two. Now another 2-2. Two -two. Just hung in there on that one. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. This is flared out towards second. Throw to first, and Cano's a ground out victim. Two gone. Digging in, Michael Conforto. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. And he'll look at a fastball that doesn't miss by a whole lot. It's 1 and 0. Line toward the gap in left center. Peterson is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. So disaster strikes here in the ninth as a late rally has certainly dampened the mood of these fans. We'll see eight, nine, and one do up in the bottom of inning number nine. The Mets lead this one six to five. Keon Broxton will stay in the ball game as he'll likely do the catching from here out. Edwin Diaz takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Digging in, Russell Martin. And he will not be seeing the usual suspect to close this game out as he's been given the day off by his manager to get a little rest. Yeah, he's worked a few days in a row, Matt. So we were told before the game by the skipper he wanted to avoid using him if possible. So that means they will look to close this thing out without him. 
Here's a two seamer inside to start the at bat. It's one and oh. Well, that two seam fastball ran a little too much off the plate, but now that sets him up to work with something away and maybe even an off speed pitch. Diaz has become one of the more dominant bullpen arms in the sport today, and a big reason is his swing and miss stuff really helps him pitch out of tough situations. Yeah, Matty V, and I think what we're seeing more and more out of the game of baseball right now in the eighth and ninth inning, big power arm guys that have really two good pitches that they can strike you out with and that's what this guy is here if he doesn't have one he has the other and if he has them both he's nearly impossible to make contact off of got him to miss the breaking ball there Russell Martin is dealt with for the first out in the bottom of the inning another strikeout for him on the mound and boy is it fun to watch him go about his business God, no doubt Matty he's one of my favorites mostly because of his stuff you know he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there it's just nasty there aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound off the plate one ball one strike and he just misses inside with the fastball there well we all know he's not the greatest threat with a bat up there his numbers certainly aren't that pretty but hey I give him credit he's really working the count right here bases are empty one man out hit hard towards the hole gloved by Lowry and the throw forces him to lay out for that one but he keeps a foot on the bag to record the out now at the plate Andrew Coles struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here from the stretch here's the pitch there's a breaking ball but it's laid off and doesn't find the zone Fans on their feet in a one run ball game in the last of the ninth. The Dodgers down to their final strike and he gets strike three called to end it here and with that this one is over. Wow D roll this red hot ball club strikes again. There's so much fun to watch play baseball right now. Yeah, no doubt. Another win, another boost to the confidence of this team. I'm excited to stay locked in on these guys and see how much further they can go with this impressive winning streak. Well, as teams do these days, Joanna Cespedes is being honored in tonight's bobblehead giveaway. Well, Matt, if there's anybody on this team who you'd want in your bobblehead collection, it's maybe this guy because, let's face it, he deserves to have a big head. He brings so much to this club. <laughs> I agree with you Dan and there's no bigger superstar to these fans. Let's hope he can give them a thrill or two in this one tonight and say thanks for them coming out. Standing in Cameron Maben and as you can tell easily from the splits he's really struggled away from their home ballpark. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Cespedes is there. One down. And here's how the visiting San Francisco Giants line up in this one. Who stands out to you, Danny? Well, Matt, Evan Longoria has been tearing it up lately. He's on a nice stretch. That's three home runs in his last 10 games. He's swinging the bat really well right now. And by watching his mannerisms in the box, he just looks comfortable in the plate. He's in some kind of a groove. 
Here's Yuan Cespedes. First shot for him here as he enters play, currently leading the senior circuit in batting. One of the best hitters in baseball, and he does it with some damage, too. Lots of extra base hits. He's in the top five right, in the you, league in go. slugging percentage as well. From the stretch. Nope. Now a change up here to start things out but that'll dip a bit too low and it's one and oh guys you take a look at the Giants as they begin play here tonight they come in trying to rebound after a loss that snapped a modest three game winning streak. Yeah Matty I know they lost their last game but you know as well as I do in this sport you have to have short term memory you have to let it go they can get it going back in the right direction today the set and the one one. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. He's looking pretty passive here, hitting with a chance to drive it a run. Going to have to make something happen with two strikes now. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. Mets leave one, and this is still a nothing-nothing ballgame. Stepping into the box, Joe Panic, runner in scoring position with two gone. No score here as we play inning number two. Fly ball, not particularly deep. And he can't track it down as this ball falls. The throw into second. But he'll get in there with an RBI double. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Here's the left fielder, Ioannis Cespedes. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Fastball misses inside. It's even at one. Cespedes behind the ball and two strikes. Come on, big guy. See it, drive it. See it, drive it. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Right there, it's a temptation pitch. Power hitters like this are looking for pitches that they can drive. So that may have been one where he was trying to get him to chase up above the zone a little bit. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Here's another 2 2. So a full count now. Great AB so far. I'd really like to see this guy work a walk and get on base for this team. Maybe give them a shot of confidence that they got a shot to get back in this one. Hit the other way out toward right field. Para is in pursuit. He's there and records the first down. Coming to the plate now, Andrew Suarez comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Cespedes is there. Makes the play one away. Now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Yoannis Cespedes. He flew out in his last at-bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last hey, A.B. Hey, hey, certainly time. just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard, this A.B. Come on, We're moving along in this one, heading into the middle innings. This guy continuing to pitch well, and one of the reasons why, first pitch strike ratio over 70% up to this point in this game. The 1-1 pitch. And he lays off for a ball, 2-1. and one. toward the alley in left center and that'll split the gap as it should be extra bases and they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double finally a little something for them to get excited about yeah a rally can begin with the single swing of the bat and this might be their chance right here they struggled to produce a lot of runs but there he is at second base a shot to the outfield scores him. then who knows what kind of role they can get on got to take it one good at bat at a time 
Ready for another shot now. Robinson Cano as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. And he popped him up over toward the left side of the infield. And Longoria's got it for out number two. Great scoring opportunity miss right there. You talk about frustration. Popping it up with two runners in scoring position. He'd like to get that one back. Let's go now. What's that? Hard hit ball to second. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And a good effort as he's able to stick with it and get the third out of the inning. Fair to say? Oh, my goodness. Uh, these folks are not headed for a career on Broadway. On to the back third tonight. Stick around on the show. Into the box, Joanna Cespedes. He's working on bringing home the tying run standing at second base. You know, Matt, and every team has that one guy, and Joanna Cespedes is that guy for the Mets. Completely changes that complexion of that Mets betting order. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Drops in a strike to start the at bat. Nothing and one. Hey, no one better now. Here's the 0 1. And they go away here. It's a cold strike. Nothing and two. Hey, two tough pitches right there, and expect more of the same. With that guy standing out on second base, you don't want any RBI scoring right here. With that base open at first, he's going to grind out and try and get this guy to swing at something outside the zone. To one and two now. Working for the punch out and the offering. That misses, and we're even at two and two. Here. Outside and a full count, three and two. Wow, this is a pretty good at bat right here from down in the count, 0 oh and 2, to work the count back to three and two. And he's seen a lot of pitches too. The 3 2 pitch. Back up the middle. Throw on to first, two gone. We talked about him earlier, but Cespedes did not have a productive outing at the plate in this one. No, he didn't, but you know what? He turned in some quality ABs, made some loud contact, and that's really all you can ask for in this game. It's tough not to be frustrated by a game like this, guys, but if you're him, he's got to do a little soul-searching right here and focus on the positive, the process, as opposed to the results today. We've got a good game going here between two clubs that seem to be for real this year. Matt, this is a nice test for both teams, both of whom, as you said, figure to be in the race as the season unfolds. Learning how to win close games like this one against quality opponents is crucial to a championship campaign. So this game could give us a glimpse of how each of these teams might respond in a big game situation. Ready once again, Michael Conforto. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. First pitch of the at bat. And a slider tails outside for ball one. Double barreled action in the Yankee bullpen now. A lefty and a right hander start to get loose. Tanaka sets his sights. Here it is on 1 and 0. And he looks at a slider in there. 1 and 1. 
Guys, I've been really impressed with him tonight. I mean, he's carving these guys up with all of his pitches. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. I don't know why in the world anybody would want to be an umpire. That manager has given this umpire an earful on a pitch that he thought was a strike, and he's certainly trying to defend his pitcher. The count now at two and two. Here now the 2-2. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. Time to focus here. This game is way too close to be walking, guys. So we'll see if he can make him swing the bat on this next pitch. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. Ellsbury, a range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. I know they say sometimes that these things even out. But that was a bullet line drive that gets caught. He would have represented the go ahead run. First delivery to him on the way. First pitch is a slider down low. It's 1 0. Split fingered fastball there inside 2 0. Three and O oh now. One run, four hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Three and one. Really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Yeah, it really does, Matt, but this offense isn't helping him too much. It sort of feels like the next team to score is going to win this thing. Mm, he's going to make him throw him something here. Three and two now. Oh, that's for sure going to be a pitch he wants back. You're not going to get many balls right in the wheelhouse from a top-level arm like this. Hit hard on the ground towards second, and this one will get beyond the reach of Tulowitzki in the center, a base hit. There's a hard-hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch your lips right there, Dad. Sent it back right where it came from. Into the box, Dominic Smith, as he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. A hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. The 0-1 pitch. Started the breaking ball far too inside that time, laid off for ball one. Pretty good pitch and a great take there. There's not a lot you could do with that slider breaking down and unless you can catch it way out front and hook it down the line. You see a lot of swinging misses on those. One and two to Dominic Smith. The one two is taken for ball two. Possible go ahead runs on first one away. He stays alive, still two and two. The two two one more time. Easy take there on the sinker, well off the outside. And through six and a third, he's about to hit the 100 pitch mark now. Hey, you know, Matty V, this is all you can ask for as a manager in today's game in baseball. Very rarely do we see guys get through. And he's into second safely with a stolen base. They ran the risk of a strike him out, throw him out play there, but that was a good job of getting in there successfully. On three and two, there's a decent chance the hitter puts the ball in place, so it can be a good time to be aggressive just like that. Here's Echeverria now. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. Go ahead, runs in scoring position here with two down. And that's inside and a bit low anyways. It's 2-0. Oh. The 2-0. Oh. 
pulls this one in the air out to left. Ellsbury on the move, and he brings it down to end the inning as the go-ahead run is left stranded. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. Seventh inning stretch time now here in the Bronx, all tied at one and one. Digging in once again, Aaron Hicks. He singled his last time up. And the pitch. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. And as Yankees fans hear on television quite frequently, see ya. Solo shot here to straightaway right field. Fourth home run for him on the season, and the Yankees take the lead. It's two to one. You can call it unfair or just the breaks of the game, but up until this pitch, which was a big mistake, he was throwing a gem. Now he looks up at the scoreboard and he's trailing. That's demoralizing, but he's got to forget about it quickly. Here's Troy Tulowitzki now. And he's a bit tardy there on the first pitch fastball. It's nothing in one. He's working on a one for two game so far. Lying towards center field. That's in for a base hit, and he's two for three. So the nine-hole hitter comes through with the base hit, and that brings up the top of the order now with nobody out. So a runner at first now with nobody out, and it's back to the top of the order now for Jacoby Ellsbury. Now a bunt attempt here. Echeverria for one. took a pretty long time for the shortstop to receive the ball that time so that gave the runner plenty of time to bear down on him and take him out hopefully everyone's okay down there here's Brett Gardner now as he'll take a look at a high strike that time it's nothing in one he's hitless in three at bats to this point Swing and a miss, and he's in trouble now, 0-2. You know, you don't face too many guys that have thrown a nasty splitter like he has today. He's had this lineup off balance all game with that pitch. Popped straight up. Echeverria into shallow left. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and striding into the plate, it'll be Miguel Andujar. He's set, and the pitch. Hit hard down the right field line, but foul. 0 oh, and 1 count and the pitch. Fastball and it gets by him a swinging strike. Ellsbury is off of first with two away. This is line to left. In there, a base hit. That was actually a well executed fastball in to in off the plate. Credit the offensive player. He smelled that coming, turned and burned. Now here comes the Met skipper on his way toward the mound. And that is going to be all for Zach Wheeler. Not an altogether bad performance here, six and two thirds, but he stands to be the loser unless things can turn around. Paul Seawold takes over pitching duties, looking to get that final out now here in this seventh inning. Into the box now, Gary Sanchez, as he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. He's one for two in this one. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. There's a ball into right center field. That's going to be a base hit. And this is going to find the wall out near the Yankee bullpen.
Griffin. And a big RBI there as the run scores from second to make this a two-run game now. Well, they already had the lead, but that extra run makes a huge difference. Even if it's only psychological, the pitcher knows when he steps out there that he has a little bit of wiggle room to work with. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. And their runners at the corners now. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he lays off a pitch here that he probably shouldn't have. 0-1. Hey, I don't have a problem with him taking a pitch right there. It's a good opportunity to see what he... Meanwhile, this ball gets down. It's a base hit. And the runner from third crosses the plate. Hey, d -Roll, that's a big RBI right there to stretch this lead to three. Takes a lot of pressure off your pitcher going into the bottom part of the inning. Yeah, Dan, no doubt. As an offense, all you're trying to do is put your pitchers in positions to be successful. Giving them that three-run cushion has to make you feel good. Here's Didi Gregorius. Swing and a ball sliced foul into the seats down the left field line. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. And a line. That's a base hit. Sanchez isn't stopping. Here he comes to the plate. The tag. And he's in there. They stretch the lead to 5-1. Now at the plate, Luke Boyd. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Hey, that's what you try and do as an offense. You get a four-run lead. They're a grand slam ahead, Dan. But you're a former closer warming up. When you see a three-run lead and then your offense gets it to four, and you know that same situation's gone out the window, don't tell me that didn't hurt you. Oh, oh it does hurt oh, you. Oh, it does because, <laughs> Dero, the only way you're going to get into this game is it has to be a safe situation. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Nine men come to the plate. Four score. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Yankees five and the Mets one. Jeff McNeil will be the next to take a turn. And at this point of the game, I think it's clear that the plan of attack against the top of the order has worked. Well, when you've only surrendered one hit to the top three guys in the order up to this point in the game, you know you're doing something right, Matt. You're spot on. Whatever they discuss coming into this game has worked out beautifully. Gardner is right there, and it's a very quick out number one. Here's Juan Ligares, fourth trip to the plate now, and he's hitless to this point. Yeah, he and his teammates have really been shut down by some very good pitching in this one. Been fun for a guy like me to watch. Here's a slider to start things out. Looked at for ball one. Two balls and no strikes to the Mets center fielder. I don't mind him trying to pitch him backwards right there with those two early count sliders. But now he finds himself in a situation where he's going to have to come fastball. Down low and the plot thickens here. Three and oh. And he gets the call there, three and one. And this is taken here for ball four. Just the second walk he's allowed into his eighth inning of work. You know, it takes a lot of discipline to watch a pitch like that go by, but on a 3-1 count, he had the luxury of being a little bit more selective up there. Good take, and a walk is the result. First pitch coming, here it is. And this is low, ball one. This is one of those classic cases of the right guy at the right spot. They need to get a rally going, and this is maybe their best hitter, so he's the right guy in the right spot for this team right now. Hicks is back, and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. So two are gone in the Mets half of the eighth, and up next, the big RBI-minded bat of Ioannis Cespedes. He's set. Here it comes. And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0-1. To me, getting ahead 0-1, it, it's the most important pitch in the game, Matty. I, it puts the hitter on the defensive. I can only think of myself being in the batter's box. When I'm sitting 1-0, I am all over the gas, or I am allowed the opportunity to sit on something. 
without fearing going 1-1. When you're down 0-1, your head's on a swivel. And there's ball two now. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. After it is Hicks. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Mets strand one. They're down here five to one. Justin Wilson is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hard hit ball to second. Cano has it. And he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. Now at the play, Troy Tulowitzki. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Lagares is there to take it. So on just one pitch, they're able to get Tulowitzki. Stepping up to the plate, Jacoby Ellsbury. He reached on a fielder's choice previously. Swing and a liner, but foul. And now a pitch on the way. And a swing and a miss there by Ellsbury as he's down nothing in two now. Hey, this boy ain't messing around right now. Attacking his own, showing a lot of confidence in his stuff. He's got two quick outs, and now he's got this guy down 0-2. Oh, he went for the knockout pitch that time, but a good eye, one and two. He's going to have to make adjustment on that slider. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. One, two, three, go the Bombers. They lead this one, though, five to one. Here's Robbie Cano now. In past meetings with Tanaka, comes in with six hits in 28 tries. He also has one home run. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Not a bad idea right there. Make this guy work and see if he can throw the ball over the plate. Throws the first pitch for a strike. They need to get some runners on base and not a bad plan. Unfortunately, the pitcher came in with a strike on the first pitch. Hicks is there. One quick out to start inning number nine. So striding in, Michael Conforto. One for two in the ball game thus far. Ground ball right side straight into the ship. Throw on to first and the Mets are down to their final out. Here's Jed Lowry now. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Line drive to center field. And that is in there for a two out base knock. So he picks on the first pitch here and is able to extend the inning. Now to the plate, Dominic Smith. He's working on a one for three thus far. First pitch of the at bat. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two out double. Obviously as a pitcher he wants to finish what he started. But when you have that pitch count north of 115 pitches you have to be concerned about his health and the wear and tear on his arm might have to take him out of this one really soon. Ready for another chance. A Danny Echevarria and these guys are making a little push here. You have to like the effort despite the odds. Yeah you really do Matt. Look they still have a significant hill to climb but hey they string a couple of hits together here and all of a sudden this thing feels doable. Looking to wiggle out of this here it is. Nope. And that misses ball one. Ball one, no fight. In there, one and one. Here's the one one. There's ball two as the slider dips below the zone. After two breaking pitches, a pretty good chance right now. You're probably going to get something right in the middle of the strike zone to swing it. So if you're looking for it, go ahead and turn that baby loose. Throw on the first, and the Yankees have put an end to their four-game slide as this ball game is over.
And we're in a heated contest between two division rivals, one of whom is happily nested at the top of the standings, and the other one is looking to shake the tree a bit. Matt, listen, if you want to be the best, you've got to beat the best, right? These are the games where a team who's trying to come out on top of the pack can get a leg up. And of course, if you're on top, this is a prime opportunity to keep them away. And that'll bring in the speedy Keon Broxton. First pitch on its way. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0-2. Two, two mid-90s fastballs right there that he doesn't seem to think he can catch up to. I wouldn't be shocked if he came right at him again with another good one. one and, two. and a wasted pitch there, 1-2. and two. This is swung on and popped up. Crossing into foul territory now behind third. And this is taken in for out number one. And with one gone now, that'll bring in Jed Lowry. Here's the first pitch to him. Line hard to the left side. Foul. and two the count to Jed Lowry that misses one and two One run, four hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Well off the plate with the change of pace, that's ball two. The 2-2. Two -two. Popped up, but this will land untouched. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Time to focus here. This game is way too close to be walking, guys, so we'll see if he can make him swing the bat on this next pitch. Swung on, and this ball is absolutely crushed. Forget about it. Gone! It's a solo shot for Jed Lowry. Home run number 16 for him on the year as the Mets are out in front now, two to nothing. Boy, that's a late mistake that could prove to be fatal. It's only a solo shot, but with the way their starter is throwing it, that could be enough to seal the deal. In now, Dominic Smith lays off 1 0. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The 1 0 home is taken for ball two. This inning really feels like it's getting away from him out there. As a reliever, you can't let that happen. Nothing you can do about what's already happened, and it's only going to get worse if you're not focusing on the guy in the batter's box. Outside, 3-0 and oh now. Well, he knows it, but this is the kind of guy you just have to go right after. He's not the biggest threat with the bat, so it's time to challenge him right here. 3-1. and one. 
Now that's a really curious pitch selection. 3-0 and turned to the slider. You have to wonder if maybe he's lost the feel for his fastball. Swing and a miss. That one tied him up. He's probably frustrated with himself now after swinging at what should have been ball four. Time for a deep breath. And it's fouled away. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. And he looks at one that misses, and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a walk. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Steven Matz. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. And he'll just beat the throw the second he's in there. Well, he took a risk with the decision to throw to second instead of taking the sure out at first. Not sure if someone was yelling for him to go to second, but we know now it was the wrong call. So it's a tight spot here. First and second, one man out. And that'll bring in Jeff McNeil. First pitch coming. Here it is. Aye. Fastball catches the black there for a called strike. Hey, when you're in a tough spot right there, that's an excellent job by the pitcher to get ahead 0-1. He has now got this offensive player on the defensive. Behind 0-2 now. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Ball. Good waste pitch, one and two. That's a great take right there. You knew the pitcher was going to try and expand the zone, 0 2 in a big spot, and he was able to spit on that one. Hopefully, get something in the heart of the plate this pitch. Sent on the ground out to second. Culberson relayed a Freddie double play, and that'll end the inning. Mets forced to settle for one here in the inning. We'll move on now to the bottom half of the seventh. Get up and stretch. It's the Mets two, and the Braves nothing. Next will be Dansby Swanson digging in. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Tying run stands on deck, but it'll only matter if the guy in the box can get on base. Yeah, and that has to be his mentality at the plate right now, Matt. He can't be the hero, so he needs to do what he can to give the guy behind him a chance to be the guy. And that's a base hit. So the no-hit bid ends here in the seventh. Ah, they finally break through for their first hit of the ball game, so the no-hit bid will end right here. Yeah, Matty B, and this is when you start thinking about that no-no. You get into the seventh inning, Dero. As a pitcher, you start looking ahead to what might happen. And that donut stares at you from an offensive standpoint as well. This guy's had his A game. You can't deny the fact that he's pitched a heck of a game. But from an offensive standpoint, you never stop grinding to get a crooked number up on that board. On to first, and that's the very last thing they needed at this point in the ball game, as there are quickly two away now. It doesn't come much easier than that. Taylor made 6-4-3 double play and an easy one to turn. Here's Nick Markakis now, the right fielder. Lifetime numbers against Steven Matz. He totaled four hits in 20 at-bats. Took a little off, and it's in for a called strike one. This offense is going to have to find a way to get going. It's happened in the past. Every team goes through it where everyone seems to fall into a funk at the same time. Everyone needs to relax and not try and be the hero and just start getting the leadoff guy on. Grounded to first. 
Smith is up with it. So they do get their first hit, but their first run will have to wait as the inning is over. So he keeps rolling right along. Make it seven shutout innings now. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. It's the Mets two and the Braves nothing. Here's Juan Ligaris now. He's got a base hit tonight. It was a walk in his last trip. First pitch coming here it is and a fastball close but ultimately ruled a ball a one and oh. That one's down around the knees taken for a strike. This is line to left. Duvall is right there as he puts it away. No problem for the first down. Very brisk pace to the ball game thus far. Two nothing our score as you get a look there at the line score to this point in the contest. Here's the catcher Wilson Ramos. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Heading out towards shallow right. Marquecas has a read on it. Two gone. Digging in and looking for more. Joanna Cespedes. He singled his last time up. First pitch of the at bat on its way. There's a change up taken but it finds the zone on the inside. Two runs five hits and no errors on the Mets line score so far. That ball's headed for the gap in left center. He's got a base hit possibly more. Now this will rattle up against the wall. Well, he was definitely struggling coming into this one, but I think we could say that cold streak is officially over. That's his second hit of the game, and it goes for extra bases. We'll see now if this game proves to be a huge turning point for him. Here's Echeverria now. As he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle. It's 0 and 1. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. He certainly hasn't been the aggressor in this at bat. Two straight takes. So now we'll see if he can change his approach and battle up. Line to the right side. That's in there. Base hit. That's why I always said, Dan, there's no justice in this game. This guy watches two pitches over the heart of the plate and then gets a knock on a ball way out of the zone. Boy, you said it. There's no justice in baseball, Dero. It's just us. Takes two pitches right down the <laughs> middle and then swings that one off the plate. <laughs> there's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. 0-1, here's the pitch. Now a swing, and the barrel of the bat breaks in two that time. But this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. A ball and two strikes. You know, Matty, I'm not surprised by that pitch. Raise the eye level a little bit. Maybe we get something bouncing in the dirt right here. hit hard towards center and that will get down as he delivers a big one here it's a base hit and the runner scores from third as they extend their lead hey Dero that's a big RBI right there to stretch this lead to three takes a lot of pressure off your pitcher going into the bottom part of the inning yeah Dan no doubt as an offense all you're trying to do is put your pitchers in positions to be successful giving them that three run cushion has to make you feel good Darren O'Day enters the ball game out of the pen looking for the final out here in the top of inning number eight.
Here's Jed Lowry now. High in the air out to center field. Chasing after it is Inciarte. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Mets forced to settle for one here in the inning. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. It's the Mets three, and the Braves nothing. Standing in, Tyler Flowers. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, Matty, big time K last time up, and it's been a tough series for him so far. You can tell he's just not seeing the ball off this team. Let's see if he can make a swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Meanwhile here, this is going to be trouble out there in left center as it ought to be good for extra bases. And he is in to second base with a leadoff double. Well, the pitcher can't really worry about that one. I mean, it was only their second hit of the game, so he's doing a lot of things right. Let's see if he can leave him out there now. So stepping in, Ozzy Albies comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Flowers stands at second with no outs. A swing and a ground ball to third. And there's one down now. Striding in, Charlie Culberson. Lifetime numbers against Steven Matz. Batting at an even 400. And he takes a pitch that's ruled a strike at the knees. Pretty liberal strike zone there. It's 0-1. Hit sharply on the ground. Backhanded. And they will not get him at first as he's able to leg out the throw. Digging in to try it again, Adam Duvall. And his guys are looking to erase that donut on the scoreboard with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, Matt, they've been really shut down so far in this one. They've had runners on base, but haven't been able to string anything together. Nope. He'll hold off on the slider to start the at-bat. It's ball one. The Braves have been looking for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to be seen if they can get it, but now sure would be a big time for that. In quickly with it is Cespedes, and that'll force the runner to hold on at third base. Ronald Acuna will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Now the New York manager's up off the bench on his way to the mound, and it looks as though that's going to be all for his starter here tonight. So as he leaves, he stands to perhaps be the winning pitcher here, unless, of course, all three runners come around to score, in which case he'd get a no decision. Jerry's Familia is called upon to pitch, really needing that double play ball. Bases are loaded here with only one man out. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Into the corner and slicing foul. Ready with the 0-2. And this is swung on and missed. A huge out there as the bases will stay loaded with two away now. That's a big strike out there with the tying run over at first base. Now with two outs, it becomes a lot more difficult to manufacture that guy home probably need a ball in the gap to give him a chance. Here's Ender in Ciarte. And Dan, this could be a real make or break situation at this point in the game. Yeah, Matt, at least scoring one run in this inning is so important to them to possibly get back into this thing. Baseball doesn't have a clock, but you only have 27 outs to work with. They're running out of those pretty quick. That evens it up one and one. Bases are loaded here, two down. This is lined into left field, and he delivers a big base hit. One run scored. But not in time as the run scores, and the lead is trimmed to one. You know, Dero, hitting in the leadoff spot, you're not going to get very many opportunities to drive in some runs, but that's a big two-art RBI hit. Yeah, when you see ducks on the pond, Dan, your eyes light up. I don't care if you're hitting first in the lineup or eighth in the lineup. You grind out in that bat and try and get the runs on the board for your team. Yeah, but that's a big two-RBI base hit. Stepping in now, Dansby Swanson. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Trying to hold the lead, here's the delivery. 
And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing and two. Big spot. Two out. Possible tying and go ahead runs on base. This one's outside. Quite a bit off the plate that time. To two balls and two strikes now. This is a huge pitch right here. I don't think he wants to go 3-2 and have those runners be in motion. Look for him to be aggressive with what he thinks is his best pitch right now. Here's the 2-2. Two and two. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. So it's two runs on four base hits. No errors and a couple of men left on. We played eight full. The Mets lead it 3-2. Johnny Ventures enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. At the plate, Dominic Smith over one with a run scored thus far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Ninth all inning right. begins as the first pitch is taken for ball one. Now some action in the Braves bullpen as they'll stand up a right hander to get loose. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. Strike taken as that one crosses over the inside part of the plate. One and two to Dominic Smith. Good pitch right there from the reliever. Tough for hitters to do much with pitches in that location unless they're looking for it. Ball two. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. It's been a great job so far by the eight hole hitter. If he finds a way to get on base, this could spell for a huge end. Got him. Frazier will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. A ball and a strike. down the first baseline but this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two and he fouls this one off again a one two another one sent foul the one two misses for the second ball these last two guys are making him work quite a bit out there both have been long at bats and all in all he's had to make 13 throws just to them so far count remains two and two making him work out there the ninth pitch of the at bat coming up belted high in the air out to left Duvall going back on it and it's gone as they add still another and that's a special home run. Todd Frazier continues to add to his major league total. That's the 200th home run in what's turning into a pretty nice career. And guys, 200 homers is a feat a lot of players never even get close to. If you get to this point, you've definitely established yourself as something of a decent power threat. So you can bet pitchers are aware of his power when he steps into the batter's box. He's definitely earned some respect.
Jeff McNeil will be the next to take a turn as he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. One and one to the Mets leadoff hitter. One and one. He pops him up toward the left side of the infield. Swanson takes charge and he's got it. Two down. Here's Juan Ligares. Here's the first pitch to him. Fly ball out toward left center field. Chasing after it is Inciarte. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. So one run on one base hit, the home run, no errors, and no one left. Part of the order, three, four, and five will get their shot in the bottom of the ninth. Mets out in front, four to two. Edwin Diaz is the man called on to close this one and earn a save in the ninth. Here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. He was a double play victim last time around. He doesn't have to worry about that in this situation, Maddie. No one on base right now. Try and get something up so you can drive the baseball. They've done a real nice job keeping this guy into wraps in this one. No hits for him so far, and what stands out to me is they're going right after him. They're not pitching him like they're afraid he's going to do any damage. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. One of the toughest pitches to hit, the straight change of right El Cambio. Hadn't seen it in that entire at bat, and what happens? Gets the string pulled on him right there. Had no chance to put that ball in play. Standing in now, Nick Markakis. Owen won the count. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. On a big swing there from Markakis. He didn't get it to make it strike two. Fouled off. The next 0 2. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. Well, you have to feel pretty confident about the way this one's going to end up as a manager. Two hitters, two strikeouts from the closer. There's not a whole lot more he can do to instill confidence that he's going to wrap this thing up without any problem. Here now is the catcher, Tyler Flowers. No balls and a strike to count. Two run game last of the ninth with two away taken called strike two and now they're down to their final strike tonight. Boy he looks strong out there on the mound this inning. He's got a chance to put and he gets strike three called to end it here and with that this one is over. So guys do you think games against division rivals might mean more to the players than others. I do Matt. I mean these guys are competitors and they want to win every game. But they know that when October comes around, it's a division championship that really sets you up for success in the postseason. These rivalry games are a bit more impactful to that race. So, yes, I think their outcome can infect a player's morale a little bit more noticeably.